All right, thanks a lot, Tyler. Now, one of the hardest hit areas from the storm is downtown Van Buren. Crawford, in fact, the Crawford County Courthouse lost half of its roof. That's where we find 5 News reporter Joe Ellison. She joins us now live. Joe, tell us a little bit more about what you're seeing out there. You know, we're seeing that roof scattered all across the Crawford County Courthouse lawn. Now take a look. You see this metal right here? This actually came off the top of the roof. Now a little bit to your right, you see even more debris that coming from this area and the winds that blew through here. And if you can believe it, some of this debris from the courthouse even landing across the street. Now when that storm rolled in, it hit this courthouse pretty hard. A section in the middle and a section near the bell tower blew off. The Crawford County judge says that caused an opening for water to get inside the courthouse. It is quite a bit of damage and the courthouse will be closed today. Then when the sun comes up, they will be back to assess the full extent of the damage. That's what I can see of it. It's going to be pretty extensive water damage because of the roof. It's the flat area that's over the courtroom area and the, the Division One uh, circuit judge's offices. That's the, where the roof seems to be gone and most of the water's leaking into the building. Now again, you're looking at the damage from the roof of the Crawford County Courthouse, all of the debris um, caused by this storm. And you know, I've had a lot of people ask me, there's a water fountain here on this property. It's a pretty historic part of the courthouse. It's still standing. It was flowing a little bit earlier. A few people also asking me about the old schoolhouse, which is on this property. Now we can't see the full extent of it because it's dark out here, but it is still standing and we hope to get a better look at that when the sun comes up. Reporting live in Van Buren, covering news where you live, Joe Ellison, 5 News. All right, thanks a lot, Joe, for that uh, report. Very extensive there. Now, if you do have to travel in parts of downtown Van Buren this morning, you are advised to be careful. There's a lot of debris out on the streets. Crews are working around the clock right now to clear as much of that up as they can.